Let's give the Earth some more moons. Well, to start, we already know what happens when we have one moon because we do have one moon and we can see it in the sky most nights. Nothing happens except some tidal waves do occur when it orbits. And in fact, we could add another moon and have the Earth, Moon, and New Moon orbit safely. And I think the Earth could actually have up to three stable moons orbiting it at a time. It gave us a third moon and that does indeed seem to be the case. However, tides are going to be pretty wicked with this many moons. I couldn't imagine what that would be like. But let's get to something more destructive. I gave us five moons here and tried to give them all a stable orbit. Let's watch it and see what happens. As we can see, a few moons enter the Roche limit and get torn up on the way around, which is kind of cool, but very destructive for our planet. I've now given us 10 moons and this is what their orbit looks like. And we can watch and see what happens when all these moons try to orbit the Earth. We can very clearly see almost all the moons end up in the Roche limit and getting torn apart and it kind of heats up the earth, it collides with it, pretty neat. And I've doubled that again, so that's 20 moons now. Let's watch it and see what happens. And now this is 50, so 2.5 times more, this is what it looks like. And just for fun here, I've given us a hundred moons now. This one gets pretty interesting. You can see they actually all collapse into a single plane because of the gravity. And they actually form a semi ring around the earth and you'll see to the right here, it forms its own moon. Kind of smushes the planet out, it's pretty neat. Would you like to live with 100 moons though?